Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of EDU 600, Research Methods and Techniques. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having an opportunity to maybe get outside, enjoy this beautiful fall-like weather. I know um, I've had a couple of opportunities to jump out and, and go for walks in the woods right behind my house, so I um, hope you're doing the same. So let's get right to week number nine. And week number nine is... Well, it's actually, we only have probably three more weeks of content of really any anything uh, noteworthy. But we have, as you know, we have 14 weeks in the class. We have Thanksgiving break in there. So we still have some more weeks of content, but we're, we're, honing, we're honing in on it. And so this week in week number nine, we have two different types of research. Um, Factorial designs and then single subject research. And I'll let you read, you know, chapter nine for really in a, a snapshot. This type of research gets at the really the variables. And in factorial design, you're you're looking at um, two or more variables or treatments, so to speak, and really what what effect that has on the research. And the one that I really wanted to just mention, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that we have, um, we have folks in the class that are using single subject research as part of their project. And this is just what it says. Um, single, it's also known as single case experiments, popular in the fields of special ed and counseling. So really what it has to do with the research design is useful when the researcher is attempting to change the behavior of an individual or a small group of individuals. So it's it's treatment. And one of my colleagues at USM, he does a tremendous amount of single subject research. And really, it is testing out treatment A, testing out treatment B. And so if you do have single subject research as part of your six that you will be re, um, writing or using for your final assignment, I, I, I ask you to just focus a little more time and energy on this particular, this is chapter number 10. So let's get right to what we have uh, this week. Here are the two chapters I'd like you to read. I'd like you to watch the four videos. Upcoming, November 10th. I mean, that's out of ways, but Article Capture 2 is due. And Article Capture 2, as you know, is submitting your your three more articles that, that you are needed to make six for the final assignment. Some of you had, I, I asked you to submit four because maybe one of your first three didn't meet the correct criteria for primary source documents. Um, and, and so please submit those, um, but you have time to do that. Any questions, let me know. And then we have coming up, this doesn't happen for a while, but you know, we have in November 17th, we have the, the uh, qualitative, excuse me, the experimental critique you have been working on with your groups. And I will have some comments to your individual groups coming up in the next few days. And just a, a, a heads up, uh, I am going to be out in Reno, Nevada this week. I head out on Tuesday morning and I'll be back late on Friday. I'm presenting at a national conference, some adult learning stuff. Um, I, I'm, I'll be on my computer all the time. If you need me, just let me know. I have time in the morning, time midday, and time in the evening. So I, you can reach me at any time. So please take a look at the videos, Article Capture 2, November 10th, and then the Experimental Critique, uh, the 17th. I put this out there only because I want you to see it and get an opportunity to review it before um, you even start probably working on it. So I know there's some people in the class that like to get going real early on the assignments, but we still have this week, this is the final day um, for the, the group assignments where you participate as a group to analyze your article. So that is it for me. If you have any questions, please reach out to me and um, I'm here. I, like I said, I will be traveling a good part of, well, 
I'll be traveling all day on Tuesday and all day on Friday. So I may be tough to reach on those days, but short of that, I'm around. So I hope you have a great Sunday and I'll see you online next week. Bye, everybody.